Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. Um, so I had a lot of stuff going on, I was moving and all that, so that took up a lot of my time. But on the plus side, I can now talk a little bit louder because I don't have other roommates to worry about. And I'm in my own house, so yay for that. Um, created by Truxton. As usual, haven't heard of him. But I'm sure it'll be a good level regardless because it's Jump One Half. What was it called again? I already... F oh, my controls are wrong. Okay, let's see if I can do this with the right controls. This is A2MT music, isn't it? Uh, hello, ball and chain. Are these red switch palace blocks? I don't even think I could have gotten it yet. Alright, dragon coin. Let's get back up here. Don't want Mr. Drybone to throw bones in my face. I wonder if it's going to force me to play through with the Red Switch Palace on later. Whether for some sort of secret exit, or... Okay, you're one of those guys. It's probably better. Much easier to avoid there. Because, yeah, it's reminding me of that one level from, uh... Yump. Oops. Which I never played, but I've watched some LPs of. It doesn't seem like a game you want to play, honestly. <laughs> it seems like a game you want to watch the LP of, because the LP is the fun part. That's kind of how it's designed. It's YouTube-y. You kind of just have to have that one person for the who takes one for the team and LPs it, so that everyone else can enjoy the LP. <laughs> Grab that dragon coin. I should have really spin-jumped or duck-jumped there. But I'm still fine. Oh boy, I too used to, uh, Depraved Stronghold, I thought I was going to be forced to do a Potaboo jump there. I can just run straight past all that with iframes, hooray! This is going well enough so far. Alright, there we go. That time I actually managed to stop in place. Last time I overcompensated just a little bit and got nicked by the Thwomp. Alright. Okay, yeah, it's definitely hinting that there's something back there. Of course, it's probably not going to be Kaizo like the Yump version. Oh, this is neat. I was like, okay, this looks a lot like the Lemmy boss fight there, but they're going to make a level out of it, but no, it's still a boss fight. And now we have Potaboos. I wonder if that's because I did a hit, or whatever, and I missed a Dragon Coin. It might be in that area behind the red switch, so I'm not going to go back and search for it yet. I'm going instead I'm going to wait until I get the red switch and then come back here whenever I come back here. So the question is, is this going to lead me to the red switch or not? Or am I just gonna have to find it and remember to come back? Mario just blew up a castle he clearly has to return to later. Hey, that's wrong. I'm not Mario. What an nincompoop he must be. Are you sure you want to continue following the, his adventure? Onward to the desert. Hope you better not blow this up. You Oasis Utility Center. I should have checked. I made it. Alright, so I bet there's a life farm in that door somewhere. Yeah, there's my life farm symbol. Hopefully it's easier than gambling. I mean, it's not like gambling is hard, but... Whoops. Hmm. Okay, I think you're just supposed to uh, get them into a corner or something and then continue to... Whatever. I'll use it if I need it. For now, I'm just going to leave and get my powers back. Because this... Because either I'm not getting something or... That's the most dangerous life farm I've seen yet. Uh, compass. What is that again? Welcome to the Utility Center store. Here you can trade your dragon currency for goods that will help you on your journey. Cool, so I've got 87. What is this? This bandana stifles your fiery temperament. You will no longer automatically throw fireballs while spin jumping. Huh. That's a really good thing for levels where you have ice blocks and stuff like that. I'm not going to grab it yet. I'll keep it in mind in case 
I get a level where I really want it, which I probably will because otherwise they probably wouldn't be offering it. This gauntlet greatly increases, enhances your grip power. With it, you will be able to spin jump while holding an item. Okay, now that is objectively useful all the time, so I will definitely go for that first. This first aid kit provides mushrooms to keep you from being small when you're in the overworld. It's ineffective if you have a reserved item. Okay. That's a really nice thing. That was in jump two, I think. Uh, this flamethrower will allow you to shoot five short range fireballs at the same time every two seconds when you have a flower. <laughs> wow, that is. That's kind of crazy. That's completely changing the gameplay. That said, this is just so convenient. Oh, okay, so it's like jump. I'm not going to be actually paying the. Uh, dragon coins out. You must collect all dragon coins at least 40 levels. Your current status is 17. Okay, so it's not going to go directly off my dragon coin count. At first I saw 40 and I was like, yeah, I can get this thing, but no. I think there's only one level where I've missed getting all dragon coins. Well, I can get this. I may as well. I'm not, it's not like I'm paying for it, so... And I'm sure I'll need it, whereas spin jumping and throwing fireballs is something I rarely want to use. Switch blocks. Huh? Oh, this is the Nega switch. I can turn them off and on again. Boink. Just kind of wanted to see it, but let's just turn it back on. I probably want those switches active. Shirt. Welcome, here you can obtain costumes which let you play as different characters. Probably works on dragon coins as well, I suspect. Once you've obtained a costume, you can switch to it at any time by pressing LR on the overworld. Like Luigi, he's a costume and he's free, because he's worthless. And no, that's just me. <laughs> the costumes you can collect, you collect can be used in any new save file. However, they will be lost if you erase all saves. Fair enough. Makes sense. Boon Costume, the ever-smiling protagonist of the VIP series. He is a passionate connoisseur of VIP quality. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, I'm Boon. That's probably not a good thing. Demo Costume, the Cyclopean star of the ASMT games. Everything that happens to her in this game is canon. Absolutely. So it's canon that she just pressed that message box for no reason. Great, so I can play as Demo. That's pretty awesome. Goodbye, shirt. Oh, is this another life farm? Word of the wind. Count ten, then let one go for a thousand more. Once uncovered, secrets cannot be forgotten. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if these are two separate hints for the same thing, or if they're different hints. Once uncovered, secrets cannot be forgotten, so I'd imagine that I can't forget the spin jumpy thing, but it looked like I could just uh, grab it again and it would turn it off, but I'm not really sure. Count ten and then let one go. Something to do with this. I'm assuming it wouldn't actually give me a thousand lives, no matter what I did, so, you know, I really have no clue. So now I'm- whoops. I forgot that that was my A button. See, I, I usually have the A button on the R button to make it easier to spin jump. But in menus like the overworld, it's a lot harder to remember that. Desert artillery range. For some reason it looked red when Demo was standing on it. Apparently not. Okay, so we got little chain chomps here. And I already took a hit. Great work, me. Okay, so I can still throw them. It's awkward. This is an awkward button to press. These are obviously pokies, so I can't do what I would do in Super Mario Bros. 2. I actually played that fairly recently out of sheer coincidence, so... It still feels natural to me that I would just be able to jump on it, but... Logically, I know that can't really be the case. Oh, they're Wigglers! That's not what I expected. But it does make some sense. Goodbye, you're dead. 
Not really, because I didn't get your coin, but I'm not even sure why I'm bothering with that. Alright, don't even need to bounce off the guy to get that. And I forgot to check we made the level again. Yeah, you know, let's just abscond. I keep forgetting that I can just jump on these chain chomps, since they're just wiggler pellet swaps. Alright, um, I guess I'll wait. Exciting, let's play footage! And I still almost got hit. And then I did get hit. Yay! Alright. Now let's butt kill this guy. Sitting down makes you, uh, a destructive force of nature. I feel like I'm just going to die if I fall down there. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back if I am missing something at the end of the level. But I've got three dragon coins so far, so... So far I seem to be on track. Uh, oops. I don't, none of that is what I meant to do, but okay. I should be careful to jump in, because now that fire's underneath the sand, it could be anywhere. It's hard to see, and I could probably still hit it, so. And I'm running out of time. I may, in fact, actually run out of time here, because I'm not moving very fast. Falling in the quicksand is not helping with that. But whatever, if I run out of time, I'll have twice as much the next time, because... Yeah, let's just go. Forget the block. Anything in this pipe? Probably not even worth checking. Well, I gotta get back up there now. There we go. Dang it. <laughs> When I, when I go to hold the button, okay, there's the dragon coin. Yeah, made it back there. <laughs> I was just going to run in the goal. I did not have my eye on the timer, so I did not want to just run out because I was trying to get 50 points or something stupid like that. It's only worth f coins in this game, so it's not even like I'll get a ton of lives out of it. All right, you lose a yellow. Didn't I see a level with a similar name before? Um, whoops, that's the save button, which I should probably do. Coopster made that level, or rather non-level. We've got Desert Artillery Range with LHB and Blow Yoshi, and now Elusive Yellow is by Xfix. Okay, so anything with yellow in it doesn't exist, including this, probably these coins too. Oh boy. <laughs> so ignore those guys, they don't even matter. These blocks don't matter. And we've got some Toho music as well, apparently. That block isn't there. Hey, it's not yellow! <laughs> That's good. Can't get any capes, probably. <laughs> yeah, of course. Don't do that. Oh man, this is definitely messing with me a little bit. I haven't messed it up yet, but I feel like I absolutely could. Like, it just feels like it's structured like a normal level, but then it's not actually a normal level. Okay, let's go up here, and uh, let's just kill him, I suppose. Spongers don't matter. See, I tried to jump on that Koopa. Okay, there's the next platform, over there. That looks yellow too, which means I need to bounce on this guy or the disco shell, which is also sometimes yellow. <laughs> so that can't be the solution, I think. Okay, just wanted to make sure that the rule wasn't... Oh, it's not yellow sometimes, so sometimes it can hurt you. <laughs> Didn't think it would be the case, but well, no point in going for that shell. It doesn't help me at all. Are his footballs not real? 
Only the Chuck himself is real, his footballs don't matter, I think. Well, oh, that's so weird. The shell and the football interact, even though they don't interact with me. I did not expect that, to be honest. Okay, so that block isn't really there. Um, okay, just go for that. <laughs> There's no key. Those guys are a lot easier to take care of when they don't actually hurt you. Thankfully this is green. After all, it's a green springy thing. This level does not have Yoshi coins, because it can't. Alright, don't land on those. Oh boy, I almost didn't land on anything. Okay, my fireballs don't interact with that either. Okay, I can't really get that guy. I tend towards trying to take the safe option, even if it might be lame sometimes. Um, okay, so I have to go under the goal here, I think. Okay, can't land on that thing. Am I gonna have to play through the level again with the yellow stuff soon? Keep going. Ignore all of that. Whoops. Oh boy. Like, I, I, I was already mentally gearing up for, how am I going to take on that disco shell? How am I going to bounce correctly on it? So there's arrows there. Oops. I definitely want to take a look. Huh. So there's definitely is a secret egg. No, there can't be a secret exit to this level because the key isn't real and it was yellow on the overworld. So yeah, I'm suspecting I'm going to have to play through some sort of a blue stage at some point. Either that, or it's just designed to look like that, but I feel like that's the case. So yeah, definitely a neat concept. The Bootstrapped by World Peace. Okay, that basically always means it's going to be good. Unless you're playing Cruel of Cruel without a Tass, then... Then you're just an idiot. Hello, Yoshi. Mud ahead. Your boots will be trapped in the mud. Yoshi's boots will be trapped too. However, you can jump off from his back. Okay. So I'll... I'll just get stuck, and Yoshi will also get stuck, but I can jump off him. The speed of Yoshi floating on the mud is preserved when you jump. <laughs> Object in motion stays in motion is the point here, but so I'm assuming I'll slide on the mud and then be able to jump off Yoshi at the end of that. Okay, so I have to not hit the block. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay, so I can actually control how I move. I just can't jump out of the mud. And if I land in the mud, I'm dead. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, if you don't even touch the control pad while you're jumping, you just kind of land back on him. Of course, that won't work here. And we can just get back onto land. Nice. Good work, Yoshi. More Super Mario Brothers 2 stuff after I just mentioned it. Can I get into that up there? <laughs> it doesn't give you a 1-up, it just gives you... Alright, let's just leave Yoshi there. Can I get over that? No, it is the ceiling. So that's not gonna work. Okay, so the green coin is telling me jump off Yoshi here. And then we get back on him here. 
And I almost forgot the gimmick of the level out of sheer panic because of two whole pieces of fire. <laughs> wow, I, that's only the first Yoshi coin, huh? I felt like I was making progress in the level until that moment. <laughs> there we go. That was close. Okay, so this guy will go upwards. Now we gotta move fast. I almost wish I didn't grab my mushroom there. Oh, the mud doesn't kill you. That's interesting. I thoroughly expected it to kill me. But yeah, that means public enemy number one is the enemies and not the mud. Here we go. And get back on Yoshi. Hello. This level just kind of has that great flow that World Peace is kind of famous for. Right, grab the vines, land on this thing, jump off. It's going the same speed as Yoshi, so that makes that nasty. <laughs> and he just parks himself nicely on land. Okay, so just checking these things. Don't want to miss any dragon coins. Good enough. Okay, so what happens if I step into that? Left, Yoshi coin, right, pass. Well, I want the Yoshi coin, so we're going left. So are these just mini challenges? No, it looks like I'm supposed to do something here. I think I'm supposed to, whoops. Really doesn't matter, but, whoops. Well, I get a power up every time I enter this room, so may as well just jump back into the quicksand. Whee! Okay, so that's how I get out of the quicksand. And now I just need to ride these guys. It doesn't look like I'm supposed to go any farther with that. Dang it, I did not think that through. Once you let go of the jump button, it becomes harder to... And you're in the quicksand, it becomes a bit harder to start holding the jump button again. I should really pause the game. Assuming I can do that in this level. Yeah, because that would work. And now I bounce on this guy to get up. Okay, and then I jump off of Yoshi. I thought we were supposed to be friends to the end, Yoshi. But I have to ditch you now. All that for a dragon coin. Well, it was worth it. Alright, midpoint. Let's... Hmm, shell. Keep the shell in Yoshi's mouth. Fire it when you feel it is necessary. I wonder exactly what it means by that, but... Whoops. Okay, so I guess... That might be what it means by feel it is necessary to kill those Koopas, probably. Unless it's meant for a dragon coin somehow. I'm assuming the shell is just normal, it doesn't, uh... Dang it. I'm assuming the shell is just normal in terms of uh, when Yoshi swallows it. I suspect he's not just going to keep it in his mouth for the entire era area. There we go. Take that, guys. All right, run under these guys, and we're back on Yoshi again. If I see anything that, for some reason, fire is necessary to get a Yoshi coin, I'll just jump in the quicksand again. It's not like it would make that much of a difference. I tried to delay as long as possible before going into that pipe because I wasn't sure. I felt like I was a little bit too far forward there. That was close. And that worked out just fine. Fire. Oh. I thought I was supposed to bounce on the fire for some reason, so it was just kind of underwhelming. Like, okay, there's my last dragon coin. 
was that? Where did that fish come from? Oh. Going in the door. Looks like we're probably in here. Oh, apparently not. Jenks on ahead. <laughs> Jump on a great platform when the sun is about to fly down. Yeah, the Super Mario Bros. 3 Sun is definitely jank with how it moves. As a kid, I always found it's really hard to deal with. Oh, whatever. Just take the hit and move on. Oh, the sun is... or is it gone? Okay, now we just maneuver through here and Yoshi's just gonna continue sliding. I wonder if I could have gone under the goal there. Well, I missed the goal tape pretty badly. But it really doesn't matter. And we got all y dragon coins, so that's it for that. I think I have time for one more level. Big Bubble Watchers. Well, alright, if you say so. And I forgot to check you made it. Bubbles! And they act like bubbles. They looked like water for a second, so I was wondering, eh, maybe they're just water bubbles that move. Huh? No, well, that's not what I expected, but okay. I guess it's just telling me... Oh, these are bouncy blocks. Oh, good enough. Oh, hey, coins. <laughs> the best reward. One of those coin blocks. <laughs> Then again, I guess I didn't do a lot of work for it, so I got what I paid for. Let's just continue. Wait for you. Grab the block, just in case it's helpful, and it definitely is helpful. Any hammer bro I don't have to fight manually is a win in my book. Though of course I have fire, so it kind of doesn't matter, unless they're fireproof for some reason. Fire is definitely a lifesaver against Hammer Bros in general. But it's kind of almost more fun to play with the gimmick and actually use the blocks rather than... Huh. So I guess I should respawn that great platform and then go back. Almost landed on that guy because I expected him to walk off. Hooray for note blocks that you can jump on just by holding the button. So much better. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. I almost died. <laughs> We're all having a death party here. Okay. Why are those blocks there? I understand why they're there. Oh, dang it. I completely forgot about the, the bounciness. I kind of wish that these no these actually looked like note blocks instead of turn blocks, because turn blocks definitely just don't like trigger that sense of okay, don't hit that block in my brain. Note blocks can do that because like sometimes even if they don't, and like there's a couple uses of note blocks in this level, the s just straight up bouncy ones, but. I feel like there haven't been any that couldn't have been removed yet. Or that even... Like, it doesn't matter if I... If that... If these ones right here turn out to be bounce uh, you only upwards instead of sideways, it's not like that's going to trick me. But... Whoops. Well, that was not... Okay, there we go. And I, I'm really glad that I had that don't throw fireballs while spin jumping thing, because that definitely helped me get that dragon coin, or at least made it less risky. I think I would have had it anyway, but... It meant there was really no risk of me accidentally frying the hammer bro. Jump up here, and down the pipe. So hopefully I've got all the dragon coins up till this point. 
This is quite a long level, so it doesn't feel like I've missed any yet, but... Alright, I'm just gonna kill you, and then check what's in the block. Alright, fire. I definitely want to keep my fire in this level. Whoa, that's cool. Alright, let's just wait here. Kill that guy. This bomb will come down here, so let's stomp him real good. This video might end up a little long, actually. I didn't realize how long this level would be. And it also has no midpoint. Wow. Alright, so you die. I figured I'd just take the hit. If I did anything else, I probably would have just fallen down the hole. Okay, all dragon coins collected, just move. <laughs> Two with one fireball, loot. I gotta be pretty close to the end now. And I definitely want to make it because this is a long level. I Gosh dang it. Well, I lost my fire at the last second. Didn't matter there. And I better not get Kaizo trapped. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game won't do that to me, but... <laughs> there we go. One of those bumpy blocks just shows up last second. Oh, the bridge broke. That's fantastic. I'm so annoyed at that. I'm about to rage quit, but first... Save. And second, Agent Q. All right. There are a lot of people who worked on this game. I thought it was, like, I got the impression that it was a fairly small team, like, of people that I recognized, but there are a lot of people who have put out their time and effort into this, so thanks everyone. See you next time.